last week's episode, the adventure got off to an unexpected start when we couldn't drive to the access point and ended up portaging almost two kilometers along logging roads. But now well into the route, paddling lakes and shallow waterways, as well as dragging through some sections, we finally enter the Dogfish River. So here's the start of the Dogfish River. We're starting with a little bit of a drop. We can already see some down trees uh, up ahead, but there definitely is some water. So we're just gonna walk uh, walk the canoe down and then uh, see what the rest looks like. Give him a second. We're just forcing the yeah, canoe we can, down. Yeah, uh, carry it over probably about 30 meters. Yep, we'll just drag it over the rocks. I'll come on this side, uh, Heather. Well, I can give her a hand. Okay, I'll get, okay then I'll give her my hand. Great, hold on. Two. Scott just went in the drink. I'm like, oh what? My God, am I, am I, am I losing? Yeah, no, I am, obviously. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's pop it right in there because it looks like we have to. Okay. Oh man, the rocks are so black, you can't see. Yeah. What do we got? Cockeyed.
Scott's going swimming. <laughs> such a pretty spot we decided to take a photo there before we continued on. Did you want to get something from the barrel? We could. Well, wait maybe until we get to the next obstruction. obstruction. Yeah. <laughs> you know there will be one. So we're just crossing under the hydro lines you can see yeah. here. And uh, as you know, you saw them um, on the block of uh, Black Lake. So it's not too far from Black Lake. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where are you going? Is it deep? Yep, just a little bit. What was quickly becoming clear was that relying on paddling the dogfish was not guaranteed. We were thankful when we could, but we weren't holding our breath. He is so comfortable. Oh, Look at him. Like his head is right on two paws. He's just chilling. Like, don't move me. Don't move me. <laughs> Looks like the boys are swimming. Just passed under the bridge. Caught with his camera. <laughs> Come on. We found a mermaid. Oh, 
How's it going, Scott? It's great. Yeah? Is this bridge on your map? Yeah. So we are um, probably maybe a kilometer into the Dogfish River. And we've got rapids, falls. Uh, we actually had paddleable spots. And uh, we've had a lot of dragging because of the uh, because it's shallow in certain sections, but otherwise it's really pretty in here. I don't know if he's if uh, Fat Dog's impressed. No, I think not. There we go, there goes one, right there. Yep. There you go. Watch out. Put this one. There we go. This was impenetrable, and now created a tunnel. Here they come. Nice work, guys. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice work. Look at that. Smooth. We know there, there's a marshy spot coming with oxbows and it's possible we just came upon it because it's kind of opened up, it's not trees, it's pretty much thick bush and alders. So we might actually get, get to paddle for a little bit now. We've been doing a little bit of everything, least of which is paddling. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. There's a dog. Yeah, got it, got it. Getting a little bushy. Here we go. It's hard to get momentum again. Right? Yeah. And you can to get your paddling. Yep. Yeah, and we yeah, could do a lift over. But then if, you, if we can't stand here, oh, I guess we get off in the log. Yeah, you can go log to pick it up. Yeah, but That's trying fine. to that turn that corner. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
Oh, shit. We should be able to get through here. Yeah, I was just saying, whack it, but watch your Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's this one here as well. There's like a stump coming out of the... Ooh! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And it ended up in my mouth. <laughs> We should try move some water too. So we'll water. Got a good spot. There we go. Is it a log? Can you go back? No, 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 it's right there. Good. Is it okay for me to be back here? Should we yeah, further yeah, up? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh. I feel like I should be down there with you. Yeah. I don't think I have a particular area, it's just, okay. just like, you know, the general yeah. late in the day. I'm running out of energy. Yeah. I've been going on long enough. <laughs> I don't even have any energy to pull you up. <laughs> yeah, I know that's good. Until they come, just take a break and then I'll get there. Please do. Please tell me it's only 200 more meters. Or like, no 100 more meters. <laughs> um, really nice. We probably... We probably got a kilometer <gasps> before we turn. Before we what? We turn. Yeah. Come on. Well, so what is, is it, after, what's at the turn? turn? Another kilometer in a bit. But what's at the turn? Is that the lake or that's is that? When it starts to get, that's when it starts going down. Start going down. Oh Jesus! So, so what are we gonna, talk, So what's three, the plan? Three then? kilometers on the river, not as a crow flies. Oh yeah, at least four. That oh, seems wow. weird though, because I thought we were already at the halfway mark when we. Oh, well, we're way past the halfway mark on like the straight stretch. Like, mm -hmm. we're, we're like so... probably. Three quarters at least yep. on the straight stretch. So, what are you saying? Four kilometers to go? No. I would say between three and four. To maybe go to where? Four, four maybe times twenty. Four. To go where? Four is probably good. 80. To get to spectacle, spectacle or spectacle no? Or you said it was like one point two. So that's an hour and a half. <laughs> no. Oh, but not at this pace. No, 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 no I know. Like twenty minutes a kilometer on the open water, and you add another. So four so times what's twenty the is eighty. Then, I guess, so that's an hour we're gonna ten. Have to start so moving. an hour and a half. What time is it now? Uh, twenty to seven. Yeah. See, that's getting it's getting late. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like we haven't pulled into camp late. But I'm tired. I'm starting to like yeah, burn out of energy. Yeah, but eight thirty is 
I can barely lift anymore, and then I'm gonna kill David. <laughs> do all my work. But the reality is, there's nowhere to pitch or set up. I know. To... Well, you know what? We can I'm keep an eye out. That when we get to the turn, that might be better it's gonna because it's be rocky, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, remember that spot where we just did that dam that looked like flat? Yeah, I, I saw know. that. I mean, yeah. yeah. So stuff like that, we might have to look for. Mm -hmm. So let's just go, and then we'll, we'll keep yeah. an eye out. And if there's something decent, we can always stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Carry on, Oh man. <laughs> Get you over here. It's like the lowest spot. We're at the 20. I'm just going to eat everything. I'm mad. I'm pissing myself that I packed light. Okay, it is. Uh, 20 after 7 and we are just turned into the elbow that goes down Gosh, into a pond and uh, <laughs> it's late and everyone's getting tired um, so this part will be a little we got to concentrate because there'll be rapids and, and possibly falls and uh, but we need to get to that lake and we're gonna try to find a campsite there so oh. it's a long day and, you got my yawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's going to get a little exciting now and hopefully we'll make it safely down to the unnamed lake and we can find a campsite there. All right. At this point, we were now out of the marsh and the river constricted again. As more rocks lined the shore, a definite sign the water would become more lively ahead. Careful, slippery. Yeah. It was already beautiful, and this was just the start, and there was lots more ahead. You can let it go, I can get it from here. Gorgeous spot here. We knew that there was going to be a good drop because of the cross contour line. We can't stay here, the fair baby.
Okay. So we were gonna try to stay by the falls there. It was so beautiful, but I went to ch check in the back and there are huge bear, bear bait um, station, plus a stand. I guess they shoot the bears from the top. So we have to continue on. However, came around the bend. You won't be able to see it, but you'll see Dave down below. It's a 20 foot drop. It's a, it's a falls that goes vertical. So we have to uh, portage our stuff up and over and over to the other side. So I can't wait to see what it looks like on the other side. We knew uh, there's going to be some good drops here, so it's pretty impressive. So I just took one load over. I got to go back to the canoe, but I want to go see the falls because the portage goes around and you miss the falls. But wow, look at the scenery here. I'm going to see if I can sneak over here. I'm already wet. Ugh. Wow. Look at that. Let me see if I can get over it this way. That is gorgeous. Wow. Let me see if I can take my way over. See if I can get a shot. Oh, Woo, steep. Uh, it's worth it. Wow. So pretty. These are the things that we worked so hard to see. Totally worth it. We're putting in just at the comp section down there. Just amazing. So it's not over. We've got uh, three more falls, big drops to do. So here's another one. Just navigating that one. And then uh, two more after that. We're definitely gonna get to camp, probably in the dark. Just wanna get through this part uh, before it gets too dark, because it gets dangerous and risky. At this point, I wasn't filming much as it was a race against the fading light and the risk with all the falls and drops, but we were getting close to the end. Just let it go, just let it go. So the sun has set, 
And we were just, we did get out of uh, Dogfish Creek and we've come into the first lake and we're looking for a campsite. Now, there's really just not much there. And what does look a little promising is that point with all the white pines. But this is the marsh or the separation between this unnamed body of water and Spectacle Lake, which is just on the other side. Uh, Heather's just going to just check it, like, to see if it's... There's... Draggable? It's solid once you get in the bush. All right, let's but just draggable, it. probably not. <laughs> let's just do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be just yeah, another 50 meters or so. I can see it. Can you? Here we go. Oh, so many bug bites in my ears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're dragging down to spectacle. Here we go. Hoping for a campsite. Yep. Okay. Okay, there's only really parking for one. Okay. <laughs> well, that's oh, there's like a whistle here. Somebody was just here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're swimming in <laughs> what what there's no name to this lake, Bits right? Bitch to get to. Bitch to get to lake. <laughs> so the dogfish is officially over as we come into <laughs> That's how I feel about dogfish. A big fat finger. Somebody's a little cranky this morning. Never <laughs> the two cups of coffee didn't really work. <laughs> okay, so there is no water in Nayskut River, at least at that point. And because it's so late in the day, we know that if we try to continue down the portage, we'd be stuck on that road in the middle of the night. 